There are a lot of people that feel that helicopter parenting is ruining our millennial generation. And Rusty, what do you think? Uh, good morning. I, I in ag- am in agreement to a lot of what's being said about helicopter parenting. Um, and I think that we're starting to see the results of the first batch of results of helicopter parenting with a lot of these kids coming into college. How do we know if we're a helicopter parent or not, Rusty? Well, I think that we're, if we observe a child's behavior a little bit too closely and we're just a little bit too involved in outcomes of uh, being on a sports team or who you're going to be friends with, uh, or in this case, a lot of it happens in academia, um, outcomes of grades and projects, uh, then I think that that could be a tell indication that you're, you're helicopter parenting. I would, I would think a lot of people would say, back off, it's my kid, with child abductions and, and teachers having their way with their students, especially in Florida in some cases. Uh, people want to have that much contact and, and responsibility over their kid. Yeah, they do, and, and there's a difference between being a close observer and, and supporting your child and then actually being actively involved in making sure that, that things turn out really well for them. And, and it's driven by anxiety. Uh, parents are anxious that there's a lot of competition out there. They're, they're worried about schools and they're worried about the right kind of influences. And, uh, and, and that's a perpetuating factor that is creating all of this. And what can be done about it? I think we're going to see an increase in the future rather than a backing off of the helicopter parenting. Yeah, I think that we're going to, but now that we're, this is kind of getting out and, and people, you'd be surprised how often this is coming up now. I mean, it's being brought up to our attention, but we, I think that what can be done is that we just kind of coach our kids and communicate with them. You can be actively involved in, in a child's day-to-day interactions without actually getting in and manipulating it. Um, and you can give them some advice. Now, will they take it? I mean, that's, that's kind of like you're, you become the last resource as a parent to your child in some instances, uh, especially as teenagers. Um, but be more communicative with your child. You know, have a, a good set of boundaries when it comes to um, what you're going to do when it comes to a project or when it comes to uh, making these decisions. Uh, you know, you can give your opinion, but essentially let your child choose for themselves. Is it true that some of these helicopter parents even do their kids' homework? Yes, yes, that is oh. true. And, uh, and, and that's, that's a, a big disservice to our, our children. Um, a, a big part of it is that, you know, either a child has been sick or they have headaches um, and they have to get in and help kind of catch up, or they're trying to maintain a high GPA and a high grade, you know, to make sure the outcome of a project is great. So they put their own hand in it. And, and parent, teachers can tell. You know, if, if a fifth grader is going in there and they're having all these schematics and, and you know, intricate little designs in, in a project, I think that they say, well, you know, I can tell that this, this goes beyond, like, what a fifth grade uh, child is capable of doing. Well, the, uh, the problem is, too, that those who are raised under helicopter parenting tend to do it so it – perpetuates itself generation after generation and and they're so dependent i mean you hate to hear the old well back when i was a kid you know we were very independent Uh, the last generation the boomer generation was very independent Mm -hmm. and oftentimes had jobs outside of school and and did things like that but i don't think we're ever going to see that happen again and i think we're going to see the government start helicopter parenting as well in the future that's a, that's a big possibility, and uh, I think that a lot of kids are going to have difficulty with, with failures and, and inability to adapt, and we're, so we're going to see a lot more uh, overt behaviors in, in society um, because they're not able to deal with a little bit of disappointment. And, uh, and, and I'm, I'm hoping that, I, that that's – I'm not predicting something that is catastrophic, but um, – we really are doing a disservice to kids and being able to, to be a little bit more leathered to dealing with the disappointments of life. Oh, how true. Rusty Lozano, licensed professional counselor. What's your uh, website? My website is uh, 
biofeedback.com. 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 Sounds good, Rusty Lozano. Thanks for joining us on AM Tampa Bay this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much.